If you're already using Notion to manage your contacts, excellent. It's one of the best use cases of Notion databases. But if you're just using a single database with some tags and some different views, then chances are it's not that satisfying. And it's not gonna give you the functionality of a tool like HubSpot or Salesforce. So what I've tried to do is recreate some of those powerful CRM features, things like segmented lists, things like creating focused pipelines very quickly. That's what you will be able to do with this CRM 2.0 system. So if you're trying to set up your own, then hopefully you can get some ideas from this setup. And if you just want to start using a simple CRM inside of Notion, you can also just duplicate this template. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this CRM 2.0 system. So you'll see side menu, you have contacts, segments, lists, meetings, activation, personas, and organizations. We then also have a button which helps us generate a new pipeline quite quickly. And we have a little example pipeline here. We have our map, which hosts all of our databases. And we also have this contacts quick toggle widget, which will be helpful for us when we're dragging contacts into specific pipelines. So the goal here is to try and keep our CRM as clean and tidy and simple as possible. And this is a system that you can hopefully hook up to other aspects of your Notion workspace like projects, actions, etc. So what we're going to take a look at is how you can go about adding new contacts, creating segments and lists and creating new pipelines in this system. So let's just quick, take a quick look at the contacts page. And this is just going to be our long list table of all the contacts that we have in our business. So all contacts, we also have a couple of views that are preset, such as by list. So these are the candidates or the, the contacts without any list assigned to them. And these are our lists. So we will take a closer look at lists later. But you can see at the top, there are a few quick views for our all contacts tab. But this is just where we will be adding any kind of contacts initially if we if we don't already know which list they belong to this is also if you are using any automations uh, this is what this is the database that you would want to hook up to zapier or make for example if you had a form submission on your website and you wanted to automatically add it to your crm to your contacts database this is the database that you would be referencing it's called contacts database crm 2.0 so that's our kind of basic contacts list. And then we also have a section which is called segments. And so the way that this CRM is put together is we have contacts, segments, lists. And what I mean by that is lists are going to be made up of segments. Segments will be made up of contacts. So you can see here in segments, we just have four segments that I've kind of created as examples. The way to add contacts to your segment is to click onto this contacts uh, relational property. You'll see a full list of all the contacts in your contacts database, and you can just add them quickly here. If you're in the segments mode and you're already thinking about various things, and then you realize, aha, uh -huh, I have a new contact to add. You can also just create uh, a new contact here. You can click this button, new contact, and that will also be created. So if I head over, back to contacts, or I can actually probably see it in my widget. At the top of this list, we can see new contact. It doesn't have any information about this uh, contact that we just added, but it's there. And it's also gonna show in our contact widget here. So segments are useful for uh, adding contacts into uh, you know specific demographics, specific personas, and things that are uh, gonna be helpful for us when we're creating lists. Uh, but you can you can quickly create a new segment here from the table. So let's say we wanted to have one for I don't know our YouTube audience. We could import again from a list of YouTube subscribers, or we can go through and we can add the contacts that we want to add here. These percentage active and percentage in conversation will automatically update based on the status of your contact. So let's just head over here. We had new contacts. If we add them to any segments, let's add new contact. Oh, new contact is added to US. So let's just head over to new contact and give it a status of active. We should see that this has updated the percentage of, or maybe we can make it even clearer. 
by removing a couple here. I'm going to search for new contact. It should show up. There we go. Terrible name for an example, by the way. But we can see that new contact makes up 50%, and so it's 100% active. If I change the status to, let's say, in conversation, this will also update accordingly. So this is a nice way to get a summary of kind of where your lists are at and where, where your segments are at. And that's what we're going to see in our activation tab here. So you can see kind of the level, the percentage of each segment that is active and the percentage that is in conversation. So that's segments. Hopefully that makes sense for how you can add context to existing segments and how you can create new segments. Then we have lists and lists are made up of segments. So let's say I wanted to create a list which included my UK segment plus my US segment plus that YouTube list that we just created. So I can add, uh, sorry, I can add segments to this list and that is exactly what will be rolled up into the, the contacts that belong to this list. I'm actually going to change this just now so when you see this, the default is going to be side peak. Uh, it's just, it's more consistent across the, the rest of the setup. So now when I click on this, it's going to open up on the side, which is a bit nicer. So we just created this new, uh, this new segment, UK plus US plus YouTube. So we need to give it some segments. So US, UK, and YouTube. And you can see that it's automatically pulling the contacts that belong to those segments. We can get a quick count for how many contacts uh, belong to those segments and we can see which segments are added here. So lists are going to be useful uh, when we're creating pipelines as well. Uh, but again, this is quite a common thing for things like email marketing, for any ads campaigns that you're running, just keeping creating specific lists that are made up of segments that you can then get a quick overview of here. We also have a meetings page. So if you want to quickly schedule a meeting, this is going to depend on the type of business that you're running. If you're running a services business, you're probably going to have quite a few meetings. So you can do like a, a client introductory call, daily stand-up, you can create your own templates, but this is just a quick way to schedule meetings inside of a calendar. You can link it to the contact that you'll be meeting with or contacts that you'll be meeting with. And uh, this is not going to be there by the time you see this. So now we have another meeting object here, which we can see in our calendar. If you want to archive a meeting, you can do so by hitting this archive checkbox and it will show in your archive. So that is the meetings tab. We, we briefly touched on activation already, which is just going to be a summary of uh, your different segments. And we also have a personas section. So this is if you want to go in a little bit more detail about the user personas for your business, you can do so here and you can also link specific contacts to that persona type. So you can do things like uh, map out any pain points, goals, use cases, uh, psychographics and basic demographics information. So you can kind of craft your ideal persona and then either from the contact itself. So let's say I just added new contact and I kind of think they belong to this persona two type. I can add them there as well. So those are personas. And then we also have organizations, which should be quite straightforward. Uh, you can link contacts to organizations as well, or you can, uh, you can add contacts to an organization from this view as well. So now we're going to get into pipelines. And pipelines are really just going to be um, these, these board views with status moving from left to right. So this is how we can quickly create multiple, multiple views of specific pipelines based on things like our lists. So we can select the list that we want to create a pipeline for. We can select the source that this pipeline is focused on. We can also even create pipelines that are based on, for example, people that were added in the last 30 days, last seven days. And so we can create pipelines based on the persona. So let's just quickly show how you can create a new pipeline in this setup. So I'm going to hit this new pipeline button. 
It's going to generate a page with our menu inside of it and a, ready, a pipeline ready to go. So it's that quick to just create a new pipeline here. And all we need to do now is think about what this pipeline is going to be. Let's say it is, uh, let's get a little bit specific. So what sources might we have? We might have like, uh, I might update these, but let's just go referrals last 30 days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select referral. I'm going to do lead added is within starting ending. So I can do that or I can do, 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 do is before. So you can do it like that or you can uh, select a specific. So let's just say we want to use uh, anyone that is within October lead was added this month. Then we would have a filtered list of any referrals that were added within this month, which is quite powerful. So then another way that we can um, create and add information to our pipelines is by dragging contacts directly from our contacts widget here into a specific pipeline. So why would that be useful? Well, remember we just created that, uh, that contact called new contact, which didn't have any information about it. And so what we could do for something like that is just drag them into a pipeline that we already know. So let's say we know it's a referral from the last 30 days. We could just quickly drag them into the specific pipeline. We can also drag them to the status or the stage that they happen to be inside of this pipeline. And that's just a nice way to kind of quickly access um, contacts without having to go into the contact itself and manually updating them like uh, by adding all the information in this table. So that is how you can create uh, segments, lists, you can add meetings, you can check the activation of your segments, create user personas, add contacts to organizations and create specific pipelines very, very quickly within the CRM 2.0 system.